There is a great battle going on between Microsoft and Google to own the business space for, for um, applications, uh, business applications, so where I can edit documents, I can uh, edit spreadsheets and so on. They're, they're, and, and you'll see this, and there's, there's campaigns on both sides, and they're, they're, they're Microsoft and Google are vying with each other for this space, and it's a big space. Um, people ask me whether um, I would recommend they take Office 365 or all Google Apps. And my, my, my answer is it really depends. And I know, I know I'm a great fan of Microsoft and, and I've grown up with it, but it really depends. I, I'm, I'm agnostic. What do you need to do? What do you need to do with Google Apps for your business? What do you need to do with Office 365 for your business? What, are, what are, is your business trying to do? Let's even, even get away from what's Office 365 going to do for your business, or what is your business trying to do? Now. Can, can Google Apps help you? Can Microsoft Office 365 help you? And, and, and that would be my, my answer there. From my perspective, I, I like uh, the Microsoft products. I'm used to them. Uh, some of the benefits for me is I, I do a lot of traveling. And um, when I'm on a plane and I'm working on a plane, then I can, I can use uh, Word 2010 or Excel 2010. Uh, 10 and I can uh, edit my documents and then uh, when I'm back into the connected to the internet I can then upload them to Office 365. If I had Google Apps I, I don't have any on-premise way of working. I, I, I need the internet. So for, for myself Office 365 is, is great and, and plus I, I can't see the, the point of paying for for Office 2010 and for paying for, for business Google Apps. Uh, it seems bizarre to me. I'd rather just pay for my Office 365 and, and rather than have two separate uh, payment plans.